Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we're going to take a look at how to repair your speaker on your MacBook or MacBook Pro. This is the MacBook Pro model uh, that has two speakers, and you can see the tear there. So what we're going to do on this particular speaker, it's just that little tear right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a little uh, non-wrinkle formula rubber cement. And you can do this a couple different ways. Now, on this speaker, it's not so bad. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to use this piece of paper to kind of thin out the uh, rubber cement. Uh, I like to use the applicator brush. It works just fine. Uh, and I'll show you here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on where the damage is. And it's right there. And on the edge of this, it's almost like made out of this. It's almost like a fabric kind of woven material. You can see there and it's done. You can do a couple coats, um, but that repair is done. Uh, and what's really great about this is when you get the aftermarket speakers, they don't sound as good, and this repair really holds up for a long time. Now I'm gonna show you, uh, this speaker is really bad, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and just apply the rubber cement all the way around. Now when you see this, you're gonna go, oh my God, you're putting way too much rubber cement on there, and it's getting all over the top of the speaker and it's a big mess, but it really isn't because what happens is it's gonna dry and it's gonna look great. And it's gonna, and, it's, and basically the rubber cement's gonna settle around in all the nooks and crannies and the speaker sounds pretty much as good as new. In fact, I think it sounds better than the aftermarket speakers because they don't sound as good. So let's take a look at what it looks like after it's dried. Now, now this speaker here is the one that I put all that rubber cement on, look, it's completely flattened out. Um, I did touch it a little bit in the middle there. It wasn't quite dry. It is dry now, and you can see a nice close-up here. It looks great. I'm going to pop that back in this MacBook Pro, and it's going to sound great. And I, like I said, I think in a lot of ways it sounds better than um, the cheap uh, aftermarket speakers. The original ones sound better, and they're impossible to find. Um, you can only find them used. Uh, so I think it's a great option to repair your own. So guys, there's my video on uh, doing this. Uh, I have another video, you can find it on my channel, how to take the speakers out. This was uh, a little bit of a project to take these speakers out. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.